What are we doing today? Breaks. Why? Because they're weepy. <laughs> they're weepy. They're weepy. So what I think happened is the previous owner did mat did um what do you do? The previous owner did wheel cylinders and lines on the front, but not on the back. And then the last time we went to drive it, pedal went straight to the floor and zero brakes at all. We noticed some leaking around the back tire. So we're gonna take all the wheels off today and we're gonna see what we find. <laughs> well, it's not coming off. My battery might be might be dead. We can put some penetrating oil. Uh, we'll get the pry bar then. What are you doing? Getting a lug nut off. The one, there's one lug nut that doesn't want to come off. So we're going to heat it up. And hopefully that does the trick. But my impact didn't work. My electric impact didn't work. The big pry bar didn't work. So we'll try this out. Worst case, if this doesn't work, we're going to put both front wheels on the ground and then get my fence post and <laughs> shear off a wheel stud, probably. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Didn't have to break out the fence post. <laughs> right, now we're going to put it back on. So it's stuck. Yeah, the suspension's all down and the body's as high as it's going to get. I don't think these are the right wheels. Yeah. What size are these? I'm pretty sure they're not the right wheels now. <laughs> well, they're 15 inches. I don't know if the stock are 15 or if they're 14, but one inch would be really great right now. <laughs> I mean, we can deflate them. See if we can get them so off. annoying. <laughs> I was telling Ben, it should have been a, twin, a 10 minute job and it's now a 25 minute job and it's still not off. <laughs> Took all the air out of this in order to get it small enough to get off, but what I want to do is I want to see if this wheel and tire will fit. It's the same um, diameter wheel, but I think the tire's smaller. Oh, they should have put the white walls out. I know, I did notice that when I took it off. <laughs> Nope. <laughs> really, to get your rear tires off, we're going to take air out of them every time? Well, let's just do this job once, once then. Once, I never do it. Well, that one looks new. Hmm. It, uh, okay, for my, in my defense, the other side was the one that was leaking. But <laughs> the easiest way to tell if these are bad or not is you pop the seals, and if any kind of liquid comes out, I mean, you see that? We might still... Eh, it looks okay, but since we're in here, we might still go through it but I mean these brake shoes look good all your springs are there um, I don't really see a reason to take this apart even your brake shoe or your brake drum feels okay yeah let's go on the other side well, supposedly so that's the problem with uh, single master single pot master cylinders you get one leaky brake all your brakes go dry Well, we 
did it. And guess what? This one is bad. I've never seen a gasket in between the uh, the drum and the hub. Interesting. Um, so here is, <laughs> it's obvious, but they didn't replace that one. And it's gross. You can tell it hasn't been replaced. It still has the part numbers on it. So that's a wheel cylinder from 56. But the problem is it just soaked. It just soaked all these shoes and stuff with brake fluid, so these have to be replaced, that has to be replaced. We might as well replace the uh, hard line, or the soft line, in the back, and then I think then we should have, be able to bleed it, but it's just one of those things. Are we going to do the rest of them? I think the rest of them have already been done. I don't know why they would do three out of four, though. Does that make sense? It's yeah. Because they couldn't get the wheel off. They're dummies. <laughs> Probably because they couldn't get the wheel off. You're, you're you should take the line off first. Mm, I wasn't sure if it was right or wrong. This one's too small. And try a 716. Try the other side of the wrench. Follow your fingers, not your thumb. <laughs> but I thought if you're going out. Follow your fingers. Which way your fingers are rotating? Oh, okay, so that way. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Don't strip the bolt. The nut. So glad I have you. I couldn't do any of this without you. It's loose now. <laughs> what do you think? Look at that. Is it just paying you to watch me try? And then you have to come in and save me? At least you try. That's all I <laughs> that's all I'm gonna say. If you were my kid though, it'd be a different story. What does that mean? Well, I let my kids suffer until they figured it out. <laughs> Your wife doesn't get that. You wanna call it a privilege. That privilege. <laughs> Here's the before, and here's the after. So much better. All right, Jasmine had to go inside, but we are done with one side. We have good used, but new shoes and a wheel cylinder. And you can tell it just looks so much better already all in there. So I'm gonna adjust it real quick, button it up, and then see what the fronts look like. I feel like if you'd only replace three out of four wheel cylinders, you probably didn't do the brakes right, but just wanna check anyway. Looks like the UPS man came just in time. Brake fluid, yep, we're gonna need that. And he also bought a gas cap. Let's see what it looks like, hopefully it fits. Well, it looks like it should. We'll have to try it out. That's all we got. That fits awesome. Much better than this stupid locking one that didn't seal at all and just jiggled around. Every time this engine has run, it's been a little bit loud, a little bit clackety. So I pulled off the valve cover and yeah, it's gross inside, but it doesn't explain it. I also pulled a push rod out, looked at it, it wasn't clogged. All the rockers were getting oil, but I was like, you know what, it's time to change the oil, and I'm really glad that I did. I wish I had gotten this on camera when it came out, but this oil has so much gas in it. It's, it's a liquid. It's no longer an oil. So I'm going to do the filter really quick. I'm going to pull this out, and I'm going to show you guys. So this Pontiac has an oil canister. Basically, it's a metal housing with the filter sits. Uh, it's a little different than... Uh, your norm normal oil filter but I'm hoping that it has enough in it I can show you um, this is the drain I'm gonna show you just how watery or gas filled this oil is you 
See how it flows? It's not supposed to. Watch this. <laughs> I'm surprised the motor didn't start knocking with, with oil, quote unquote oil, this runny. It's pretty gross. So here's a canister. Basically, you replace this. The basically you replace the paper stuff inside instead of the whole thing. Uh, that's how they all used to be. My Cadillac's the same. Luckily, that one's on top, so it's a lot less messy. But I mean, it's pretty simple. You have this big bolt. It goes up through the bottom. Uh, you put that inside of here, and that's it. Now here I have a new one that came with the car. It's a. Uh, Pure later, but it's made in USA, which I don't know when's the last time they did that. It's like 2002. So let's put new oil in it that has some good viscosity and see how the engine runs then. Five quarts of the Walmart 1040, one quart of Marvel Mystery. Uh, it's all in the engine, so let's fire it up and then give it, let it run about five minutes and see if it's any quieter. 